Thank you so much, uh, Minister Falcon. We do really appreciate the support that you've uh, provided to this very vulnerable population and support for the work that Dr. Montana and his team continues to do at the Centre. So I'd now like to uh, welcome and invite Dr. Julio Montana to the podium uh, to tell us really more about the significance of today's announcement. As the director for the BC Centre for Excellence, Dr. Montana has in, been involved with HIV AIDS research and treatment at St. Paul's Hospital for more than 20 years. He's president of the International AIDS Society, a 14,000 uh, membership around the world uh, united uh, to uh, look together at the uh, treatment and research needed. He's also professor of medicine at UBC and has held the endowed chair in HIV. In, in AIDS um, at St. Paul's Hospital and UBC since 1996. Dr. Montana and his team at the center have played a key role in pioneering highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART, the landmark drug cocktail that has been adopted in Canada and around the world as the gold standard treatment for HIV. Dr. Montana conceived and has been campaigning for the STOP HIV AIDS strategy since 2005 and its benefits are now being recognized around the world as Minister Falcon mentioned um, and recognized by leading health bodies such as the World Health Organization. So I know we're extremely lucky to have uh, Dr. Montana here with us at Providence Healthcare. Uh, he's truly an advocate for people living with HIV AIDS and we're blessed to have him as an ambassador for the great work that happens here at St. Paul's. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Montana. Uh, dear uh, friends, uh, colleagues, um, and uh, partners on this initiative, um, uh, dear uh, Minister Falcon, um, it is a great day for uh, uh, HIV-infected individuals uh, in British Columbia, in Canada, and in the rest of the world. Uh, many of you don't realize the significance of this initiative, uh, but uh, what it started uh, some years ago uh, really as a challenge, a direct challenge from the Premier, uh, we needed to do something uh, to not just get the treatment to work better, but to decrease the number of new infections in the province of British Columbia is uh, materializing today uh, with this new injection of funding that is going to allow us to actually expand our efforts uh, in the downtown east side and in Prince George as part of a broader initiative to bring treatment to the people in need ultimately to control HIV, both in terms of disease progression and uh, new infections in the province of British Columbia. The world is watching us, and I say uh, so uh, with a lot of respect and, uh, and a lot of um, concern that we need to deliver, and deliver big time on this initiative. Uh, as you know, uh, Washington DC announced only about a week ago uh, that they are embracing sick and treat, which we originally proposed some years ago, as a means to uh, control the HIV epidemic in Washington, uh, which is the biggest epidemic in the United States. Uh, President Obama has made a, a commitment to this uh, feasibility assessment uh, in Washington that is currently in the order of $20 million uh, to see whether or not this can move forward. Uh, I'm happy to tell you that the expansion of antiretroviral therapy in this province, uh, thanks to the support of the provincial government, the Premier himself, Minister Falcon, and a number of others, including uh, Minister of Healthy Living and Sport, uh, Mr. Uh, Ida Chong, and previously Minister George Abbott, uh, has been in place now for at least four years. And very soon, I uh, will be in a position to show you the first phase of results, uh, which you will be happy to hear, are extremely encouraging. We're on our way to make history in terms of control in HIV in this jurisdiction and in the process of doing so to teach the world how this should be done. So we're very thankful uh, again to the uh, uh, provincial government, the, the Premier himself, for his uh, strong commitment all, over all of these years uh, in supporting this program uh, to achieve the results that we have been able to achieve. Uh, very much uh, thank you, uh, Minister Falcon. Uh, you have been uh, a lighting rod when it comes to mobilizing the resources that were required at a time in which we are living through very difficult fiscal times. We really appreciate your effort. Uh, this doubles the responsibility on us. Uh, we thank Merck for the contribution and uh, hopefully this is only the beginning of a very fruitful contribution, not just with Merck, but with a number of other pharmaceutical companies uh, that have much to learn from this initiative. So thank you very much. Uh, this is the beginning of yet a new challenge, and we, um, we, we pick up the glove and we'll run with it, I, I assure you. Thank That's you. Great.